I'd like to give my all to our subscribers. You all really rock. This time on Sailing Intermission, we went out motoring. Karen fixed a really nice snack lunch. We enjoyed some outdoor dining. And Karen tried a new bikini on. Also worked on the plants, doing some indoor gardening. I worked on the dirty, rusty anchor locker. And as always, we did some dancing. Again, thank you so very much to our subscribers. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you. Well, I don't know, Karen. I, you know, it doesn't look like there's much wind out here. No, it's kind of bouncing up and down, mainly down. <laughs> so, a little bit of wind. It's blowing six, seven knots is what it's doing. Uh, you know what? I I guess I'm feeling a little lazy. Won't we motor around since we're out? Or even just drift. Yeah, drifting's good. It's kind of those lazy, hazy, crazy days of almost summer. <laughs> right. I like that. Yeah. Just a nice, relaxing day. It's a little overcast today. So I say we just drift. So let me get the kill switch. We can just chill. It's a really good day to just relax, drift. Not too many people around, a little overcast. No thunderstorms in the forecast. That's a good thing. That can always be shocking when those pop up. I couldn't agree more. I say we just chill. Does that mean a chilled glass of wine? Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Let's do it, it baby. It most definitely does. There's Karen. Saggio cheese and a nice Chardonnay. Only the best. Kind of had things stowed away for sailing. Here's a little light affair. Let me go get my wine. What a feast. Even have some crackers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Here's to more romantic days. I didn't know the, the toast would continue. I already drank. We That's have to okay. do it again. Okay. Yeah, you just want more wine. <laughs> Cheers. Here's to romantic, more romantic days on the boat. And just to clarify, I meant that as additional romantic days, not as in more romantic than what we're doing. Seafood's my favorite. You know, I see food, I have to have it. Funny. Lame, but funny. Oh, yeah. Karen and her pickled herring. Mm -hmm. Well, we made short work of that, a little snack. Man, I can't believe you made me eat all this. I'm happy to say that our wine is depleting at a slower rate than our food. That's a good, healthy thing. Take us back, baby. You bet. Another fun day on the water. I love wet sports.
Land ho, matey. Think I need to turn. <laughs> well, let's do it. I mean, I, I do want to dock, but I want to dock in the slip. <laughs> I really love plants and it's nice to have a couple of them on the boat. It's not the easiest thing for plants so you have to be careful. You have to watch for signs of stress. This is an airplane plant and a Christmas cactus. And this airplane plant looks like it needs a little bit of doctoring. So I'm going to take off the brown dead leaves. I'm wearing these fashionable blue gloves um, to work with plants. I don't always do that. I'm going to take that off, and the other thing you can do with plants is sometimes the tips of their leaves turn a little brown or black, and so you don't need to remove the whole leaf, if, especially if it's green, but like this one, you can see it's getting a little brown and black. If you take scissors, you can actually just trim them with scissors. You can pinch them off if you want, but scissors are better because they actually help seal the clip and then you can kind of watch your plant and make sure that it um, isn't stressing out too much. So that's these. Let me cut in a little bit here. The thing that's really nice about this plant, this airplane plant, is it um, it's easy to propagate. So this one doesn't have any little babies yet but they typically have a little shoot and then a little baby airplane off the shoot. You can see this soil's kind of dry, so I'm just going to take something, any type of stick, and just kind of poke holes in the soil, get it where it's aerating. And the Christmas cactus, they're really pretty. Um, around November, December, they get these really nice blooms on them. Well, if you can get them to bloom, I can't always get mine to bloom, but y'all should Google it and look at them. I know I'd rather it be sailing. So that's pretty well aerated. And then we're just going to add a little bit of water here. I wouldn't mind being at the beach. And I always like to water them pretty thoroughly. So I kind of make sure I have some kind of catcher, water catcher and I wait for it to seep, uh, come through a little bit. A couple of other plants we have on board are these two over here. One is a mother-in-law's tongue. Some people call it snake plant. And the other is an aloe vera. It's the miracle medicine plant. So let's take a closer look. Here's the mother-in-law or the snake plant. It's got a really nice um, thick leaf. And according to NASA, this is one of the better plants for purifying air. So we love having this one on board. It's also very easy to propagate. It just shoots off these little babies every once in a while. Uh, would you like some wine? Sure. And then this one over here is the aloe vera plant. And it's really crowded in there. I probably need to do some repotting. It's got lots of babies as you can see. So again, it's another easy to propagate plant and it's wonderful to have on the boat or anywhere because if you have a burn or a cut, you can actually break these off and use the sap inside the leaf. Um, it's very curative, especially for burns. So this is a super plant to have on board. So pull ball the chain out of the anchor locker. It really looks like a rusting mess. Even though the anchor locker has weather strip around, I'm sure it still leaks and it's like it soaks in water. Here I've been vacuuming out some of the rust. bottom. I did previously put some screens on it to 
try to keep the rust from clogging up the drain hole. Well, this is one way to drain the anchor locker when it's clogged up. You just take the hose off. There's the through hole going, of course, above water line. And then this is, of course, the anchor locker with its, this is three quarter inch, probably needs to be two inch. Here's the new hose. Of course, there's single clamp, but there's nothing below the water line. I love new hose. Well, you're probably going to say it still looks like poop in here, but... I'd still rather be dancing. To me, it's clean. I guess I could take some soft scrub or something and get some of these rust stains out. I'm not gonna. So I know galvanized will show some rust, but this is it in the shadow is just too rusty for me who knew these bolt cutters would cut 5 16 g4 chain but it does Whoa. Hey. Okay.